What's going on, Ronan? In this video, we're taking a look at the New World Outpost Rush 101 video that they just released today at uh, July 7th. We're going to take a look at what it's about. I know it's in-game PvP stuff, like 20v20, like Battlegrounds, resource collecting type stuff, I believe. So we're going to check that out, see what they're talking about, give a little reaction to it, and hopefully it goes well. So let's jump into it. Bringing the battle to a tournament in an all new PvPVE mode, Outpost Rush. Uh, Jump in solo, or with up pretty, to five of your friends sweet. in a coordinated oh got headshot. versus twenty battle. Did they get headshot also. Teams must oh, coordinate and done. balance their time upgrading outposts, gathering resources, capturing objectives. You got to gather resources and, and stuff in the Outpost Rush. That's crazy. When your team spawns into a match, you'll want to push forward and capture outposts to bring you closer to victory. So you have to build up the inner outpost? Outpost, outpost to outpost. be upgraded, defended, and used as forward operating bases to drive the enemy back. That's pretty sweet. Gather resources to support your team and keep your outposts well protected. Uh, how many players is it? I don't think they said. Each outpost has features that your team can use to help you in battle. That's kind of sweet. Your outpost gate to keep the enemy team at bay. Spend that resources gate. to buy protection wards. So who spends the resources? Respawn point at your outpost. Build repeater turrets and vats of burning oil to rain fire down on the other team and repel their attacks. They showed this stuff. Create a command post to inspire your team, making them stronger and more resilient. To inspire your team, like a buff, but a defeating better flag. the enemy isn't the only way to win. Outpost Rush has plenty of other objectives too. There's enemies there. Build cannons and give your team the edge in an outpost siege. Summoning circles give players a chance to summon some of Eternum's most fierce so got a little, uh, on their side. Like League of Legends aspect to it. Collect Azoth essence to make an offering to the corrupted portal. What if there are bosses? Sacrifices enough essence, but they kind of are rewarded with a powerful advantage. Throughout the match, Baroness Hain appears. If your team can manage to defeat it, her, is a boss. they'll be granted an immensely powerful buff that can help turn the tide of battle. Defeating the Baroness, the also enemy's team is the other team's score, score is frozen for three minutes. To catch up wow, behind, how long are Alpha's rest? The final nail in the other team's coffin. Oh no! There are so many ways to win an outpost rush. Collect resources for your team. Yeah, he said that. Lay siege to enemy outposts and capture map objectives. Victory means reward and gold and treasure. The bigger the victory, That's pretty cool, the though. bigger the reward. There's so much what does to discover. Bigger the victory mean? An outpost rush is only the beginning. We'll see you in a turn. That's pretty sweet. I can't lie. The summoning up things that they have going on here, like Post Rush has plenty of other objectives. Summoning circle, corrupted portal, and Baroness Hain. That's pretty sweet. That's kind of like some League of Legends type stuff going on. Uh, Dota. I can't remember the exact name of that game genre. Moba. That's what it is. <laughs> Moba stuff going on here. Uh, the buff you get for defeating Baroness Hain. This one said free score for three minutes. I believe that's insane because I want to know how long these matches normally are going to last if you're freezing the score for three minutes. Like, dang. Score frozen. 1,000 to win. So is there a timer? Because the one person won with like 600 and something points, which is not quite 1,000. They must have destroyed the base. So maybe the quicker you can beat it with how many few points you have, like the, le the least points you have when you win. And destroy the other town's outpost. Um, the least points you have, the better chance you have of getting better rewards, I guess, maybe. And you can see it says locked up here because it froze the score. And then it'll respawn in 10 minutes. So these messages are going to be pretty long because it's almost some ice boss alive in 10 minutes. That's pretty wild. That's pretty crazy. I can't as assume that it's going to be that difficult to defeat the Baroness. Everybody get individual scores as well. 
player kill 24, score 9425. NPCO's 13, death 2, assist 67. Where Gordon was kicking butt. 270 resources contributed with 21 kills and 16 NPC kills. What other NPCs will they have running around, I wonder? Because they show just the zombies and the bears. I wonder how much, how deep this is going to go. It says 101, but they didn't really tell you anything. They, they just told you how it works. I guess that is the most basic you can go with it. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I can't wait to give it a try. Uh, July 20th, the beta comes out. So I'll be checking that out then, and uh, we'll talk more about it. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video with me, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any tips or any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos on MMOs, and I'll see you guys in the future. Thanks again.